primary progressive aphasia is the term we use to refer to a set of dementias that affect a person's ability to use uh, language. Logopenic progressive aphasia is um, a, a type of PPA, and it's, it's sort of the, the most recently put on record for three major variants. So people with logopenic uh, variant PPA have uh, difficulties uh, with word finding. People can also sort of make small mispronunciations or almost get parts of words a, a bit jumbled up. So in, instead of saying animal, they might say aminal and just mix up certain, uh, certain small parts of, of the word. I can't write or, or anything like that. I try all the time and I, you know, I take it out and I look at it and uh, and I think, yeah, I could try it. And when I do, I can't put the the things, you know, it doesn't come out very well. Well, she's pretty good at speaking. Most people, when you, you meet her, wouldn't necessarily see a big difference. But actually, it's very profoundly affected her ability to communicate. Sharman's first reaction was to step back from social interaction because she knew she had a language problem. and She was ashamed, worried, f- afraid about it. So the person will often uh, be speaking normally and then sort of struggle to find the word that they want to say and it feels like it's on the tip of their tongue, so it's something that we can all sort of uh, understand and, and we, we know that what that experience is like. For the person with logopenic aphasia, it's like that a lot and it's, it's really frustrating and difficult. Things start to go wrong in the brain, basically in the language area, but they affect some other things. So like something called executive function, which is where you do planning, thinking ahead, uh, that can be affected. And I think in Sharma's case, that's something that she finds difficult. In logopenic aphasia, it's a problem with the same proteins that we see going wrong in typical Alzheimer's disease. And so for that reason, um, sometimes people refer to to this variant as as the the language-led variant of, of Alzheimer's disease. One of the strategies we've had is trying to find out things. Um, we found that helps us cope um, and you can find those out from RDS. Another strategy I think we've undertaken is we take we did a lot of speech therapy. Um, it's a speech-related dementia. And quite early on, we thought, because of Sharma's background in dyslexia, we understood that speech training can be helpful. And finding a good speech therapist meant that she was able to um, begin to re-engage and understand a bit more about how she could cope.